Good evening. Yes, very emotional. Hundreds of people came to the vigil tonight to pay their respects to the beloved mother, grandmother, and community activist. In South LA, an emotional vigil in honor of Trina Newman Townsend in the exact spot where she was killed in a hit and run crash on Christmas Eve. She was murdered yes. by somebody. All right. Okay, this was a, a killing. Yes. If it was an accident, he would have stopped. He or she would have stopped. Trina was dropping off toys to a shelter with some of her kids in the car near 88th and Broadway when suddenly she was hit by a car that kept going. Someone who means so much to the community did not deserve to go out this way, and we as a family deserve peace in our heart. Trina was not only a mother, grandmother, and foster mother, but also a known minister and activist in the community. The fact that the driver just left her in the roadway torments Trina's daughter. You didn't hit your brakes. You didn't. You didn't do nothing. You left my mother here. I did not want to get on camera because I did not want you to see me. But I want you to see me. Took her away from the community and away from her family, including her husband Curtis Townsend, who is reeling. That was my baby. Curtis says the two were high school sweethearts and married later in life. They were planning to renew their wedding vows soon, a promise they made since their wedding in 2021. Once we became married, she said, I'm complete. I got my name, I'm complete. She did, we were just talking about this like two weeks ago. To support the family, hundreds of community members attended the vigil Thursday, including assembly member Reggie Jones Sawyer, who vows to work on safety in South LA. So I will work with your elected officials here so we can make sure that not only that this doesn't happen again, but we can make this community just as safe as any community west, west of here. In the meantime, the family is focused on justice and wants the hit and run driver to realize who they took and come forward. I would plead and beg if any humanity is in this person, if any form of compassion is in this individual, to turn themselves in or if somebody know them, you know, if it's a family member, it's just, you want the same thing to happen if it was your family member. And there's a $50,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.